What does your testicle size actually mean for your testosterone, your fertility, or even your performance in bed? I'm Dr. Emma Blake, urologist and men's health specialist. And today, we're going to unpack one of the most misunderstood parts of male anatomy, with science, not myths. Because the truth is, bigger doesn't always mean better. Let's start with the basics. Your testicles have two main jobs. Think of each one as a factory with two very different assembly lines. One line makes sperm, that's your fertility. The other makes testosterone, the hormone that powers your energy, muscle, sex drive, and more. Here's what most men don't realize. About 95% of the testicles volume is dedicated to sperm production. The hormone producing cells, they only take up about 5%. That changes everything about what size really tells us. Let's talk fertility first. If your testicles are larger, it usually means you've got more internal machinery, specifically more seminiferous tubules. These are the tiny coiled tubes where sperm is created and matured. It's like this. A bigger factory has more conveyor belts and more belts mean higher output. So yes, Larger testicles generally have a higher sperm producing capacity. It's why testicle size is one of the first things we evaluate in men with fertility concerns. If they're unusually small, it could mean fewer or less active sperm. Conditions like varicocele, which raises testicular temperature, can damage these tubes and shrink the testicle over time. That's called testicular atrophy, and it's a red flag for fertility. Now let's bust the biggest myth out there. Bigger testicles do not mean higher testosterone. Why? Because testosterone is made by a different set of cells, called Leydig cells, which live between the sperm-producing tubules. These Leydig cells are small, and they only make up about 5% of the testicle's mass. So even a large testicle might have very few of them, or they might not be working efficiently. Meanwhile, a smaller testicle could have a small number of Leydig cells that function like powerhouses, keeping testosterone levels perfectly normal. In other words, testicle size is a terrible predictor of testosterone levels. What really matters is how your brain signals those cells and how efficiently they respond. If you're trying to understand your testosterone levels, stop staring in the mirror. The real signs are how you feel. Is your sex drive down? Are your erections weaker or inconsistent? Is your energy low or your mood off? Are you losing muscle or gaining belly fat? These are the true signals of hormonal imbalance and they have nothing to do with size. If any of these symptoms sound familiar, the next step isn't guessing. It's getting a simple blood test that checks your hormone levels. That's the gold standard. If you've noticed your testicles seem smaller than they used to be, especially alongside fertility issues, that matters. Bring it up with your doctor. It's a valid clinical clue. A semen analysis and physical exam can tell us a lot. But if your main concern is testosterone or performance, don't rely on size. Rely on science. And speaking of performance, if erections are your concern, I want to share something exciting with you. It's a 100% natural research-backed method designed to support strong erections by targeting the real root cause. Not with pills or injections, but through a simple seven second daily ritual. You can watch the full explanation in the video I've linked right below, or just scan the QR code on your screen. If performance is on your mind, this is worth your time. So let's bring it all together. Testicle size and fertility, strong connection. Bigger usually means more sperm potential. Testicle size and testosterone, no real connection. Function beats size every time. Worried about testosterone? Look for symptoms. Confirm with a blood test. Concerned about erections? Address the cause, not just the symptom. And most importantly, don't self-diagnose with myths or comparisons. Your health deserves facts, not guesswork. If this video helped clear things up, give it a like and subscribe. I post weekly videos on sexual performance, testosterone, and natural fixes that actually work. 
And if you've got a question or a concern you've been too embarrassed to ask, drop it in the comments. I read everyone, and I'm here to help. See you in the next video.